color grading could be really difficult, but there are tools that you didn't know about until now. In this video I will show you a really powerful tool which could help you with the color grading in DaVinci Resolve. It's called DCTL, which is DaVinci Color Transform Language. It's a scripting language used to create custom color transformations and effects in DaVinci Resolve. But first, if you're new here, I'm Peter and I make tutorials and reviews about photography and filmmaking. So if you're interested, just subscribe to my channel and I really appreciate Mononodes. There is a guy called Stefan Ringelschwantner who has must-have tools in his website. He was kind enough to let me make a review about his DCTL plugins and I was amazed. So you have access to very powerful tools in seconds, which can be more problematic with the native DaVinci Resolve tools. It's my honest review, so no money changed hands and I only say my experience with the DCTLs. But I want to mention I'm not a professional colorist, so maybe there are other or better ways to color grade. But back to the DCTLs. My favorite is the skin checker. Because one of the most important things in color grading is the perfect skin tones. You can easily mess up the grade with bad skin tones. Usually I check skin tones with this method. Add the new node with Alt plus S or Option plus S in Mac. I make a power window, grab and put into a part of the skin and check the vector scope and it should be on the line. If you don't see the line, just click here and click Show Skin Tone Indicator. The line appears, you can see here. But now you see the whole image instead of this small circle. We only want to see the small circle area. So we add an alpha output and connect it with the blue line. It now only shows the image inside the circle. And if you toggle on and off, you can see clearly the skin tones and it should be on the line. Usually I correct it with adding another node and picking the skin color with the color picker. And if you want to see the highlighted area, you have to press the Shift plus H button. So you can adjust the luminance or the hue. And our goal is to pick only the skin colors as good as we can. And if you're satisfied with the mask, just click on the curves and go to Hue versus Hue. And now your cursor became a color picker and click to the skin tone. And you can see the skin is around here in the Hue versus Hue panel. So if you move up and down, you can adjust only the skin colors. It's just a small adjustment now, but it could make a huge difference in some situations. But sometimes it could be really limiting if you have multiple persons in your scene or if you want to check multiple clips in overview. You have to do it in every single clip. Bruh don't want to do that. My method is to put a balanced DCTL node to the timeline node which applies to the whole timeline. And I can toggle on and off in multiple clips at the same time. Or instead you can put the DCTL node to the last node, it's not applies on the whole timeline, and you can see if it's on. But how does it work? It's really easy. The skin color makes this weird behavior, but it's pure magic. If your skin tones are right, then it's yellow. If it's purple, it means your skin tones pushed a little bit to the magenta side. Or if it's green, it means your skin tones look like a walking dead character. And now check the mononodes version, how to balance the correct skin tones with DCTLs. Ok, delete this node and remove the alpha output. Delete the adjustment which we made. Create a new node with Alt plus S and drag the DCTL plugin here and be looking for the mono balance DCTL. You can see some kind of weird thing happens. So let's make a new node with Alt plus S in Windows and drag the DCTL and be looking for the hue band. And you can see skin band here. You can see his face is green now. It means his skin tones is not balanced. It's more on the green side. So we would like to adjust that. And if you toggle on and off the previous DCTL, which is the balance node, you can see it's not a huge difference. But if you can hit the right skin tones, the results will be so much better. And if you pull the skin band, you can see it's magenta now. If you're not familiar with skin tones, it could be okay. But if you hit the right skin tone, it's so much better. So we adjust that to the yellow because if it's yellow, it means it's perfect. It's much easier to check the skin tones with this plugin. If you apply it on the timeline, you can check multiple clips also. 
so you can quickly adjust the skin tones until it looks similar. But it doesn't end here, there are a lot of other plugins there. Density and Saturation. With the sliders you can easily adjust the saturation separately on different colors. It makes my workflow so much easier. And you can bring up the global saturation or density, which is really useful when you try to adjust the right color saturation levels or brightness. You may know what saturation does, but with the density, you can adjust the brightness of the colors. So if it's too bright, you can pull it down a little bit until it looks good. There is a deep slider also, which reduces the effects on highlights. Hue shift and hue twist. This is a really powerful tool again. With the Hue Shift tool you can easily change a color to another one or adjust the tone a little bit if you want to. I think it's much easier than do it in DaVinci Resolve. You know, sometimes I only need just a small change and with the sliders it's really easy. Here you can see I changed the yellow value and it works really great. Or I just want to change only the greens here, I pull some sliders and it changes the greens. And the good thing is, recently I got an update from Stefan, so it means he improves the tools over time, which is nice. So overall, the DCTS makes my workflow so much faster and easier, and it could be a huge lifesaver in some situations. You can find Stefan's website in the description below. So if you're interested, don't hesitate to check the website. And last, thank you Stefan for your trust and let me test your DCTS. And that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed and I really appreciate if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys in the next one. Peace.